been singing about my Lord for so many years. I've sung when I've been happy, when I've sung when I've had tears. Some folks may even question if it's all just been a show. But the reason that I'm singing, I want this world to know. I sing because there is an empty grave. I sing because there is a power to save. I sing because His grace is real to I sing because 
Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. Got the word and he fell asleep. Yeah, that's right. I'm glad that sometimes when the world comes at me, oh, when I just I, I just can't handle it no more, I can curl up next to the Father. Yeah, that's and I can right. hold on to the word and I can have peace in my heart once more. Yeah, I'm glad that when the sail or the seas come at me and the winds are rough and the waters rough. As Dad was talking about Paul, I can grab a hold of the Word and I can get close to the yeah, Father amen. and yes, feel sir. safe enough yes. to be That's happy good. again. Yeah. I can be safe enough that I can just fall asleep like he did on that boat. Yeah, Boy, I'm glad that I have a Father. Yeah, And amen. I'm glad that not only do I have a Father that will punish me. That's right, he'll yeah. punish us. Yeah. But he left me with a Word. Hey, listen, it'll feed your soul. Yeah, that's right. And it'll make you understand and know how precious you are. Yeah. And it'll make you understand how much he loves you. Yes. What he's given for you. You know, my little boy, he don't know what all I do each and every day for sure. him. Sure. But what he does know is that in daddy's arms, in the house of God, and with the word of God under his arm, ain't nothing going to hurt him. That's true. Amen. He won't take a nap nowhere else but right here. Yeah. He's used to being in the house of God. Yeah. Amen. Can I say this? I thank my daddy for raising me in the yeah, house of God. Yeah, that's right. I thank God that I've had men of God preach to me. And when I got out in the world and I became worldly, amen, Yeah. that I still knew where to come and be at sure. peace. Amen. What would give me peace? Yes. And how to get it again. Amen. All y'all listening and watching on Facebook or wherever y'all let me tell you something. This world is going south quick. Yes, that's right. But boy, if we'll train them up and take them to the house of God. Mm -hmm. Show where to find peace and comfort. Hey, we know we've left them with something they can hold on to. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. I appreciate that. Anybody else tonight? I've got... Uh, Verse of scripture here. I got, got a little story for you. One smart aleck lady said one time. <laughs> she said, you preach about 10 minutes and then you tell stories the rest of the time. <laughs> I said, well, you try it once. Before. You get up there and try it. Amen. 
I guess I'm just a natural at it. You get, get my drift. Uh, she is also the same one that said, you take your tie off when you preach. I said, I ain't never heard a tie preach. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't got your coat on tonight, preach. I ain't never heard a coat preach either. I don't think God's interested in what we're wearing to you. As long as it's modest and covers up things that ought to be covered up. Amen. I believe he's more interested in where that heart's at. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's hot off the press right there. Sure. Amen. But I, I, I got a little story for you. Pray for that smart aleck woman. I, I, Amen. <laughs> the Lord forgive me. Amen. <laughs> I still love her. Amen. We, we, we served a long time together. And we're, she's still she's still serving. I, I, I just, I joke and cut up about that. But she did about half get me in the flesh in about two seconds. Amen. And uh, I'm, I'm guilty of that. I don't boast in that, but I, I'm guilty of that. Amen. But I, I, I was, <laughs> I got to tell one on myself right here. I was talking about my high blood pressure earlier, need, needing prayer, and then here I am going to tell a story about going through the McDonald's drive through <laughs> I've got a soft spot for a Big Mac large combo and a 10-piece nugget. <laughs> Natalie, don't look at me that way. I already feel bad enough, amen, but it sure is good, amen. <laughs> Oh, it sure is good. <laughs> and it's about nine dollars. Amen. I can't afford to eat it every day. If I could, I would. I'd be six hundred pounds. Amen. In the midst of all of this, I, I, I'm gonna say all this this worldliness of all this evil. I made it a point the other day just to let a lady know where I stood. And for about two minutes, she let me know where she stood. Amen. You know, you want me to tell you something funny about it? It's that we were both on the same page. Loving the same God. Serving the same God. Striving for the same goals. So I was at the McDonald's drive through I don't know why my blood pressure is high. Ordered up my Big Mac large combo, sweet tea. Got around to the drive through and I thought I'm going to let this lady know right here that I am a Christian didn't tell her I was a preacher or nothing all like that. I rolled my window down. She took my money. And I said, I sure hope that the Lord blesses you. And I'm telling you, it wasn't just a second. She was sent down on her, in her little seat right there. She come up out of that chair and I thought, boy, I've either, I've either, she's either popping a happy bubble as Brother Dean McNeese says or, or she's, I've offended her in a mighty way. But either way, I said, help me, Lord. Amen. Yeah. She come up out of her seat and she stuck her head out the drive through window and she said, I'll tell you what, he's a wonderful God and I want, I, I want to say this, that I am already blessed today. And she said, I, I, and as I was driving off, I said, praise the Lord. And you know what she said? She said, "My pra his praise will be in my mouth continually. Amen. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, I want, you know, let me tell you something. It ain't got nothing to do with being black. It ain't got nothing to do, I'll be careful. It ain't got nothing to do with a, being Asian. It ain't got nothing to do with being purple, pink, or yellow, uh, skinny, or fat, or whatever. Hey, man, there's one God. Hey, man, the, and, and if you've got a soul, it don't matter what color you are, no matter how big and skinny or fat or whatever you are, you must go by the way of the cross. And the blood that was shed on the, on the cross of Calvary has got to be applied to your heart. That's the only way and the only hope that you have to get to heaven. 
She didn't look at me and say, well, well, you little white boy, she was a black lady. It didn't matter that she was black. And you know what? It don't matter that it's black, that, 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 that they're black or, or we're white or so on and so forth. It's about being saved. Amen. All of them's got a soul. Hey man, hey, and, and, and it's going to take the same blood for them as what it took for me. Hey man, I'm thankful and grateful. It encouraged my heart. Hey man, I thought we're fixing to have church. Hey man, yeah, right here, I did. I thought, boy, I ought to back up, and there's a car right on my hind end waiting on their Big Mac too. I say this. I'm going to challenge you as a church. I'm going to challenge you, whoever may be watching this at home. I'm going to read you the scripture. I'm going to tell you what it's at. And then I'm going to challenge you. By this challenge, it probably won't be real easy this week. Probably won't be real easy for me. <laughs> I've learned just to praise him anyway. I've learned just to give him glory anyway. This old life is sometimes ugly. You've heard me to preach it. You've heard me testify about it. Hey, man, this old life's ugly at times. Oh, but it's just better just to praise him anyway. Hey, man, I hope that, hey, I hope that your glass is half full all week long. Amen. Amen. I hope that, that, that I'm preaching to a congregation right here that, that, that you're not one of those that you run into in the, in the dollar store or the Walmart or, or the grocery store up there and you say, oh my goodness, there's so-and-so and you begin to hunker down and you begin to belly crawl across three aisles to keep them having to talk to somebody. Hey man, I don't want to be one of those Christians that people have to avoid. Amen. I want to show myself friendly. Amen. I want to love people. Amen. I don't want to be accused of being one of those. People just absolutely avoid. Amen. So I say this. Here's your challenge. And if you be real good at it. Amen. We'll go get us a Big Mac right here. Just man. Amen. I'm just kidding. I ain't going from that. But I say this to you. Psalms 34, will you look, will you look with me? It said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Here is where that sweet little lady was, was, was getting the scripture from. I believe she had been in church a time or two. Amen. I believe she, she was born again. Amen. Listen to what it says in the second part of this verse, Psalms 34, verse number one. Quoted it often. Amen. Preached it. I don't know a blue million times. But you know what? I still think, I, I think it needs to be preached. But still yet today, every time that the pulpit is filled. Amen. You know why? Because people have forgot what a God we serve. Amen. But it says this. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Not part of the time, not just when it's good. But, but, but the psalmist is writing right here. He said, I'll bless the Lord all times. Yeah. Listen here what, what the second part of it says. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know what? Thank you. You may be seated. You know what? I, I throw this challenge out here to you. And I throw this challenge out there for all of those who may be watching via internet or whatever, YouTube, maybe later on, that, that they may, may be watching this. But my challenge to you is this. Just this week, Brother Donnie's challenged us. Wonderful idea. The Lord inspired that. Hey man, to take that prayer request and to carry it with you all week long and bathe it in prayer all week long. My, my, my challenge is this. May you bless the Lord all week long. That's not giving you an out to stay home Wednesday, amen. I'm telling you to come back and we'll bless the Lord here together come Wednesday night as well. But bless, the, bless him all week long, Brother Lonnie. 
Hey man, I know, listen, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to get in my truck in the morning. I'm going to turn out on Highway 62 and there's going to be some half-crazed idiot going to run me out of the road and the, the devil's going to be right there in my face. But you know what? I, I'm, I accept this challenge too. I'm going to bless the Lord even through those rough times. When they come by my way this week, I'm still yet going to bless the Lord and that's the challenge for you. Now, second part of that, I said this. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So my challenge is that we're going to bless the Lord all week long. At all times is what what the scripture just said. At all times, we're going to... I'm going to challenge you just this one week. That's all I'm asking for right now. Just this one week and I want to hear. I want to hear your testimonies. I want to hear what the Lord does for you this week. Amen. If you'll do just what I'm, what I'm, the challenge that I'm throwing out there. Not just part of the day. When that old ugly boss that you don't like comes rolling around your way. Amen. I want you to bless the Lord. Anyway. Better be thankful you got a boss. Amen. We've all got to have a job. Amen. What's wrong with the what, what's wrong with the generation now? We've raised them lazy to where they think that everything, they're just entitled to everything. Amen. I'll try not to chase rabbits right here, but amen. I'm telling you this. The Bible says you don't work, you don't eat. Amen. Right. I believe we ought to get back to that and believe we ought to raise our young people. If you don't work, you don't eat. Amen. When the, when the old ugly boss man that you don't like and you don't get along with comes by your way, I want you to bless the Lord. Now the second part of this. When that, when that crazed guy runs you out of the road, I, I, won't, I won't say Edie again, but when that crazed vehicle runs you out of the road come morning, Monday morning on your way to work, Vernon, don't smirk at me. I know you're retired. Amen. <laughs> I want you to bless the Lord all week long too as you're eating your gravy and biscuits at 9.30 in the morning. Amen. After I've done put in a half day's work. I've heard him snicker and laugh about it. Amen. You know what I'll be doing at 9 o'clock while you're in there dressed out sweating? Amen. I think I might have two biscuits in the morning. Amen. <laughs> Brother Vernon, bless the Lord. Amen. So my challenge is that we're going to bless him all week long. Secondly, second part of this verse. says here, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So when the thought comes by and you're working with that co-worker that absolutely drives you crazy, anybody got anything? Don't raise your hands, Amen. I don't want to know. But when you're working with that, 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 that co-worker that drives you crazy and you think, boy, I wish I could control the button, amen, I'd, I'd send him straight. You know, you, know, you know what would happen. Amen. Better be easy. There may be somebody feel that way towards you. Amen. When they come around and they start that gossip, that jaw wiggling, that chin music and they go to gossiping about this and or that one. Hey man, here's what I here's my challenge to you this week. Hey man, let let his praise be in your mouth continually. I want you to think about this verse and I want you to think about blessing his name all week long. And I want you to think about his praise being in your mouth continually all week long. And then next Sunday night Next Sunday night, I may have to do it during prayer requests or during, during, hey man, I tell you what, let's not wait Sunday night. Let's hear about it Sunday morning. So my, 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 my challenge to you is bless the Lord all week long and let his praise be continually in your mouth all this week long. At all times. Hey man. That's the challenge to you this week. It's not very hard, is it? We're saved by the blood of Jesus. If we're if we're in that we're in that righteous mind and mindset, if 
It ain't got nothing to do with the mindset. It's got to do with the heart, amen. Hey, if we're living, if we're, if we're seeking every day His righteousness, amen, then guess what? We ought to be doing these things anyway. Some of you are looking at me like I got two heads because you say, Brother Tim, I do that every day. I know, I know there's some of you that do, but they may not, they may not be everybody in here that does that every day. So do, we're going to do those two things. At you that, that's at home, I'm going to challenge you. You do those two things all week long. Tony, you get mad at me this week, we're just going to bless the Lord. Amen. If I mess up real big, we're going to bless the Lord. We're going to have a good week, honey. Amen. We're going to let, when you want to say, the, say some mean stuff to me, which don't happen a whole lot, but that's times. We're going to let his praise be in our mouth continually this week. Amen. Wayne, Natalie, same thing. Keith, you and Jeannie, same thing. Douglas, you and Jordan, same thing. Danny, you and Becky, same thing. Amen. Vicki, you and Sarah, same thing. Donnie, you and Allison, that I miss so much not here tonight due to sickness. Same thing. Amen. Is that a challenge that we can do? I want to hear back from you. Amen. I want to hear back from you Sunday. You say, you say well, the, the, the devil turned the wick up. I don't want to hear no excuses. Amen. Because let me just read. Now, I'm going to wrap this thing up, and we're going to have a word of prayer right here, and then I've got some mission work that I need to do right here. Amen. You say, well, well, the old devil really come at me this week. I don't want to hear any excuses because listen to what he done. He said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear there, thereof and be glad. Yeah. Now, we're going to magnify. The, the, now it says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. I didn't even throw that third part of the challenge out. We'll do that, we'll do that next week. Amen. But it says here, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he, guess what he did? He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They, they, looked, they looked into him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all not some not partially but the Bible says that it saved him out of all his troubles you say well I, I you know what there's temptation there's there's there's, there, there's just hard times that, that any time that I set out to do that I don't want to hear all that because listen to what the next verse says. He said, the angel of the Lord encampeth round. It didn't just say that he passes by, Brother Keith. He didn't just say that he just comes by every now and then. He didn't just say that he just comes whenever we need him. But the Bible said right here, the angel of the Lord encampeth round and about them that fear him. That serve him. Listen, listen. The angel of the Lord encampeth round and about them that fear him and delivereth him. So why is it? All, some of you is already making excuses as to why we can't carry through with this. I just read to you all in the reason that we can carry on with blessing the Lord. with letting his praise continually be in our mouths all week long. Psalms 34, verse 1, all the way down through verse 7. You can read on. Boy, it's some good reading right there. Hey, Amen. All the way down to about verse number 19. Hey, man, if you need a little help this week, you can look over Psalms 34 and verse number 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteousness, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Amen. 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 Wow. 
You say, boy, it's just a rough old world that we live in. I work in construction and you know how rough that is. You would not believe how many times that I've heard that come from Christian men that probably leave prior in their church and come to work with a filthy mouth. Amen. I'm telling you that's no excuse. Amen. For all that the Lord has done for us. Amen. We ought to be able to. I'm throwing this challenge out there for this week. We're going to see what the Lord does for us this week. Part two of what, brother, what the Lord laid on Brother Donnie's heart. Amen. Laid upon Brother Donnie shared with you. Part two. He said, see what the Lord does. We're going to break bay these things in prayer. Now we're going to see what the Lord does when we bless his name continually. <laughs> his, hey, his praise continually this week, seven days, will be in our mouths. Can we do that? Absolutely, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. God, I ask of you tonight, Lord God, for this challenge. Lord, I pray, I know that the devil's going to come at us. I know that everything in the world is going to be thrown at us. But Lord, according to your scripture, according to your word, that, that, that you cannot lie. God, you've promised us some things. And Father, we pray that this week, Lord God, that you'll help us, remind us, O oh Lord, all and wish that you've done for us. Lord, we know that we, through you, Lord God, that we can just serve you the way that we should serve you. That we could glorify you the way that we should glorify you. But Lord, we pray, God, we pray for your help. We know we're living in an evil day, an evil time. Lord, it's hard sometimes to show ourselves friendly. But Lord God, we, we know that through you, you blessed us with the power of love. And God, I pray that you'll give the increase from on high. Send them angels to encamp around and about us here tonight. Those at home. Lord oh God, around and about them and deliver us, Lord God. Every time the devil comes by our way to tempt us, every time that an excuse comes through our heart and comes through our mind, Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you'll put a hedge about us, Lord God, that we can't do nothing but praise you. Father, I love you. I thank you. And Lord, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to do this week. Oh, Lord, we know that it could be, this could very well could be the last week that we here, have here upon this earth before you call us home to be with you in glory. And Father, I pray, Lord God, that if that be the case, Lord, that you'll help us this week to serve you like the very last day, to serve you, Lord God, with, with like it's our last breath. God, I pray, Lord God, that you'll help us to love. Lord, like it may be the last day that we have to love. Father, forgive us again when we fail you. We'll praise you. We'll thank you in Jesus' name.